So let's say you're a developer who just bought some property downtown. You want to put a grocery store there, but you're not sure you can make it fly, especially because you're going to knock down that abandoned home on the lot and put a glitzy grocery store in its place, causing your property tax values to go sky high. A city council member who also wants a downtown grocery suggests you using tax increment financing to finance the project. What the heck is that? Tax increment financing, or TIF, is a method developers can use to reinvest into their property the higher taxes that they would normally pay when development takes place. The incentive is meant to encourage economic growth and create jobs by allowing developers to pursue projects that wouldn't normally occur if they had to fund the projects on their own. But how do you make that happen? Well, the developer needs to prove to the city and the Tax Increment Financing Commission three things. One, that the area is blighted or that conservation is needed to keep the area from becoming blighted. Two, that you can't afford the development on your own. And three, that the project you're seeking to create is going to benefit the entire community. If the 11 member commission approves your project, you get a baseline assessment of your property's value. As you build, the property value will increase, providing money into a special allocation fund that can be used to fund projects like sidewalks or roads in the area. For example, let's say that your property is worth $100,000 right now before any improvements are made. After the grocery store is built and sidewalks and streets are improved in the neighborhood, the increased property value is now $400,000. The extra taxes paid on that additional $300,000 go into the special allocation fund for your district. In addition, your grocery store is producing $20,000 in sales tax annually. That money is split between your district and the other taxing entities in town. This, in a nutshell, is how TIF works.